Even though that pork's been cooked a really short amount of time, relatively, because usually you like slow cook pork belly, but that is super tender. Mm. That is a really good weeknight dinner. Loving that. So our little tray bag story here gets started by browning off our pork rashes. So what are pork rashes? Well, you might find them uh, in your supermarket. They're very common here in Australia. And they look like this, and they're just basically, it's pork belly that's already been sliced. So you're not after bacon rashes. <laughs> you're after pork belly slices. Uh, you can always slice it yourself. Uh, now, I just wanna add a little bit of oil into this pan here. So I've got, this is a roasting or baking dish. So this can go into the oven. It, also can take a bit of heat uh, on the stove top. So you kind of need something like that um, and you want it nice and hot, pour in some oil. Now I'm just gonna add a little bit of salt here to season my little porky pieces. And now we go in for the sizzle. Now the idea with a tray bag, or with a good tray bag, let's put it that way, is that you really need to like build up the flavor. So I'm going for some color here on this pork and that color means flavor. I want to make sure I'm seasoning really well as well. So I know I put salt on the first side, a bit more salt on the second side. Okay, so while that pork is doing its thing, we've got lots of time to make our sticky glaze. Now, we're gonna start off with a little bit of poison first, and then a little splash of some Chinese Shaoxing wine. Now, you can use apple juice or orange juice here if you would like to keep your glaze alcohol-free. That's totally cool as well and some soy sauce, and to really ramp up the Chinese Five Spice kind of character that you get with a hoisin, I'm gonna add in some extra Chinese Five Spice. And actually, if you wanna make this at home yourself from scratch, I've got a video on how to do that as well. So this glaze is gonna give us like that Chinese barbecue pork kind of flavor a little bit later on, but I can hear that the pork over here is doing some talking. <laughs> so let's go back here and have a look. Um, this pork now has some really lovely just starting to get that kind of golden color through there. And that is going to start that flavor process for us. Okay, so I want another five minutes on that second side as well, just to make sure that both sides are really lovely and golden. Now I'm gonna get these guys out onto a plate and they can just rest up until we need them again a little bit later on. Now turn that heat off on the pan, but don't lose all of that yumminess in the bottom there. All of that brown stuff is all good stuff that we're gonna use later on. First of all though, I wanna get my apples done. And I love this kind of combination. I mean, it's a bit, you know, it's not your average pork and apples, I guess, because you've got that Chinese barbecue pork flavor going on. But I do think pork and apples, well, you know, they're besties. They like each other. And I just want some nice big chunks here. And now some cabbage. So I'm using a uh, Napa cabbage, also known as Chinese cabbage or Wombok. Um, you could use any kind of cabbage that you like. Purple cabbage would be great here, actually. That would be lovely. The color would be great. Anyway, it's not what I have today. <laughs> but I just want some nice slices here of the cabbage. All right, so let's come back to our lovely dirty pan here. <laughs> <laughs> lovely dirty. Well, it is because that lovely dirty is going to give us the flavor. I've got quite a bit of oil and fat in there, so I'm not going to go in with any more. I'm just going to go straight in with some chopped garlic and some grated ginger. I'm just going to grate that straight in there. The skin is really fine on this one. It's quite a young ginger, so I'm not even going to bother peeling it. Make sure you're scraping up lots of those bits on the bottom there. So now in with your apple and the cabbage. I love how this is such a cool riff on like classic flavors, cabbage, apple, and it all gets done in one tray. So, very convenient also. So just toss that around a little bit in there, but what I really wanna do is make sure that I'm sort of picking up all of that lovely brown flavor from the bottom of the pan. So to do that, I wanna add in some liquid. I'm gonna go in with some more Shaoxing Chinese cooking wine. And some chicken stock as well. And now because we've added that liquid, all of that lovely stuff at the bottom there is coming straight off the pan and that is gonna form a really lovely flavored sauce. Now let's come back to our pork. So just lay those pieces in there. Now just give each of those pieces a lovely brush with some of our hoisin glaze. 
It's gonna get things like nice and sweet and sticky. All right, so this goes into the oven now for 20 minutes and then we're gonna come back, flip that pork over and do a little bit more glazing. Okay, so these are not ready yet. <laughs> They're not ready for their Instagram picture just yet. I'm gonna flip these guys over. And we want another brush here. Now back into the oven, another 15 minutes until we've got a lovely color on the other side. So while the pork's doing its thing, let's do some fun, a little greenery over here. So I've got some spring onion here, but you could use some Thai basil, some coriander would be nice. Just like a little final like pop of freshness just at the end. So now we just want to wait for our pork. Okay, so pork is currently smelling amazing right now. Let's have a look. So just have a look at that lovely like glazed pork and you know the apple's nice and softened in there and we've, I know that there's a really good sauce hanging out at the bottom of that tray as well. So what I wanted to hear is make myself a nice little kind of rice bowl situation. So we're going to go in with some pork. And I want some apple as well, some of that cabbage. Now you want to get in here and scoop up some of that sauce and just drizzle that all over your pork. And just some final little bits of love here. We want some green spring onion. And of course, because I'm me, there's a little pop of chili here as well. So there you go, friends. My barbecue pork and apple cabbage tray bake. Ah, oh, so easy. And let's just get in here and make sure that I've done a good job for you. Even though that pork's been cooked a really short amount of time, relatively, because usually you like slow cook roast pork or pork belly, but that is super tender. And that flavor, like you get the sweet apple, um, you get that lovely glaze, <coughs> you get a big hit of chili from the slices at the end. Mm. That is a really good weeknight dinner. Loving that. You know how you get those like Russian roulette chilies? <coughs> like the hottest one in the bag? Whoa, that's spicy. But anyway, this pork is really good. Mm. Yum. If you've got any comments or questions, pop them below. And if you enjoyed the video, why not hit that subscribe button plus the little bell one, and that way you'll get notified every time I release a new video. Thanks, guys.